welcome to the video. This is this is more of an upgrade really where I put the Fageli linear servos onto um, a toy grade hobby engine excavator. Um, <clears throat> there are some videos which I did in the past and previously what I did was um, I was actually using the Spectrum transmitter, the, the um, 10T and um, since then um, it's, 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 it's actually had a couple of iterations and in its current form it's, it's using this Grupner MC19 transmitter which I upgraded with a Corona 2.4 gigahertz system which is quite cheap which I've, which I've um, put in, into the excavator. Um, I'll just show you some of the things which I've done and um, brief kind of running video showing some of the capabilities and I hope you enjoy the video. So just to get started, I'll just move the camera. Start, start with the battery. So what I'm using is I'm using a six cell nickel metal high dry battery and this this gives it a reasonable running time and because it's running on six volts I'm able to have that going straight into um, everything including the receiver to give me six volts and plenty of power for the for the servers because they do use quite a bit of current I think. Yeah so if I start by popping the battery in which um, I think I think I'm I I'm, I'm I must have cut some stuff out from the original battery holder in order to um, get it in there. That that fits in there quite nicely. You have to be careful not to be interfering with the um, turntable mechanism for the excavator because that would not be good. Just a reminder of what's going on on the inside. Um, we've got the saber tooth um, speed controller here, which is which is controlling the two motors, and the receiver, which is pretty well using all of the channels, is the Krona CR8D. Just put the top on. And so I'll turn them on. First of all, the the transmitter, and you can see the red light coming on there. And that's us all ready to go. So just one or two things I wanted to explain before running. First of all, um, right, what I've what I've done is I've got the tracks on the um, left hand stick here and um, you can see that there's quite fine movement which is different to how these things come I've got I've got the arm you can see moving there on on this slider the servos are quite slow but um, when you're when you're selected them, you you always have the choice between speed and power, and this seemed to be about the right combination. This one here, I've got the up and down, and I actually have two of these servo motors here, which does give me extra power, uh, and and that's a little bit faster. And then and then lastly, I have the bucket. On, on this on this knob here now one thing one thing which is which is um, quite difficult to do with these is kind of control those three movements at the same time so what I've done is I have put a couple of mixes in and I've got the mixes on this switch over here and what and what this allows is it allows the um, arm to raise as you're coming back otherwise it would just be hitting the ground and also the um, bucket kind of curls in as you go. I, it, it's easier to demonstrate than to describe. So if I just set the um, bucket and 
and the and the height here at the mid kind of level I'm only having to use a single control here for the digging and what I can do is I can set the height that I'm wanting it to dig at with this with this um, slider over here Okay. The first thing that I wanted to demonstrate was the control and putting it up onto um, a low loader. So this this um, I connect up to one of the um, Tamiya trucks. Um, let me just show you this working. First of all, I'll lower it. You can see that it's very, very controllable. And in fact, it's so controllable, I can probably actually turn it around on the truck. I haven't tried this before, but let's just see. I don't want it falling off. There we go. And then, and then I can and take it off again. And just to show you its kind of climbing capabilities, it's I'm perfectly capable of getting up there. Um, I don't really want it falling off the other side, but it, but I'm sure you can see that it will do it. Now for the main function, which is the digging, and what I do is I use this brooder truck, which I converted to uh, put the wood chippings into. Just move the camera again. That seems to be a reasonable kind of position. Bit of luck. Put that in. I think I need to move a little bit nearer to the truck, so let's just get that moved. Looks 
think that's going to be better. Then I'll just do another one. Flip the switch on the mix. If you manage to get it in, then I'll just do one more. Well, maybe not the best <clears throat> driver operation ever because I've only just got this set up, but I hope you found it interesting. Thank you for watching.